In this video, we're gonna review Shopify and Amazon, selling on Amazon, and we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of selling on both. Now, I'll talk about which one I'd recommend at the end of this video, but first, let's start with some of the pros of Shopify. I'm a huge fan of Shopify. I think that if you're gonna start an online store, you need to set up a Shopify. So let's talk about some of the pros. It's built for e-commerce. It's built to help you sell stuff. On top of that, you own everything. When you have a Shopify store, well, there might be some debate, but it's really, it's your property. Even if for some reason Shopify went out of business, you still built it up and you can transfer it over to another host uh, hosting platform. But with Shopify, you really own it. As opposed to Amazon, on Amazon, you don't really own the stuff. If Amazon wants to kick you off, they can kick you off. It's not gonna happen on Shopify. It, good chance it could happen on Amazon. I know people that have made, are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollar businesses, and one day Amazon decides, hey, we don't like what you're selling, or we don't like you, or we don't like whatever they want, and they stop them and they ban them from selling. This happens all the time. If you don't believe me, Google it and you'll be blown away. So that's another benefit of Shopify, is you own everything. On top of that, they're your customers. When you sell on Amazon, you don't own the customers. You don't get their email address. You don't get all this data. When you sell on Shopify, you do get that data, which is huge, because you can use that data to remarket to them. You can use that data uh, to do all kinds of really cool things. And in, on Amazon, you don't have that data. On top of that, it in, in, uh, integrates with Pinterest and product listing ads, which just is other platforms for you to drive traffic to your website to build your brand. So if you wanna build a following and really wanna build a big brand, you need to sign up for an online store and Shopify is the one. Now on the other hand, some of the pros of Amazon. Tons of traffic. You're gonna have tons of traffic instantaneously. It's not easy to get a lot of traffic to your Shopify store. It's a lot of work. In fact, I've come out with a ton of videos on how to do that, but it's a lot of work. On Amazon, you just show up and there's a ton of traffic for you. On top of that, it's somewhat free. Um, you, do, you get charged a fee, but as far as listing, it depends on what you're selling, but it could be free. I had to pay 40 bucks a month just to sell stuff on Amazon, which isn't super expensive. Shopify is gonna run you about 30 bucks a month, but for most categories, it's free and they only take a percentage of the sale. On top of that, it's much easier to get started. Uh, Amazon, all you have to do is create like a product page. With Shopify, you're gonna have to create that same style of product page. It's obviously gonna be different, but you're gonna have to create the product page, plus you're gonna have to create the whole entire rest of the website. So Amazon's easier. Uh, you're gonna get started way quicker. Let's talk about some of the cons though. Shopify first. You need third-party apps, which is a huge pain in the butt. Like uh, you need to add a bunch of stuff so you can effectively sell with Amazon. You don't really need to deal with any of that. It's just, you put up your product and you start selling. There's also fees for using third payment gateways. On, on top of that with Shopify, one thing I wanna add in is, like I said, the big con here is, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to set up, relatively speaking to Amazon, and it's gonna be hard to get traffic there. Now some of the cons of Amazon, and there's a lot of them, don't get me wrong here, they own your soul. A um, Little hyperbolic there, but the truth is, if they wanna kick you off, like I said, they can. Uh, on top of that, there's a lot of rules and there's a lot of rules that you could accidentally break without even knowing you break them. I've had a lot of friends that broke a rule that they didn't even realize was a rule and they end up getting banned or they get a letter from Amazon threatening to ban them. So there's a ton of rules. When you own your own platform, not a lot of rules uh, for the most part. There's also a lot of fees on Amazon. You're gonna make more money on Shopify. It, let's say we're selling something, just to make the numbers easy, selling something for $100 on Shopify, you get almost all hundred dollars. You have to pay a small like credit card processing fee. That's normal. So let's say on uh, Shopify, you'll make $98. And on Amazon, you'll make closer to $75, $80. The, the numbers might be off a little bit, but you see what I'm saying. You're gonna make a lot less money on Amazon. It, there's a lot of variables at play here, but you're gonna make less money on Amazon. You wanna try to sell direct to consumer whenever you can. Uh, they're, once again, they're not your customers. When you sell some, something to someone on Amazon, you don't get any of their data. Amazon considers them to be their customers, not your customers. And if you try to get them back to your website, you'll get slapped on the wrist and potentially banned. So that's a, a negative, another big negative of Amazon here. On top of that, um, you're more likely to get copied on Amazon. If you have your own site and your, all your own stuff, for whatever reason, it seems like there's a bigger barrier to entry. On Amazon, there's a very small barrier to entry, which means more people are gonna copy your product and try to sell it similar things. So that's it. My recommendation, do both. 
Like I, everyone wants to see what's the best one to do, do both. Now, which one you should start with? Maybe start with Amazon, then focus on Shopify. But ultimately, if I was only gonna pick one thing that you had to do for the rest of your life, I'd go with Shopify, hands down. And the reason, there's a lot of reasons for this. Um, one of the big ones is you own the traffic. It's never going anywhere. Now, that being said, starting on Amazon is probably pretty smart. I have a lot of friends that have made a lot of money starting on Amazon. And the reason is it's much easier to do it. There's already a ton of traffic there. But anyways, if you do want to go with Shopify, at least try it out. There's a free 14 day trial. You can click here or click up there, link down below. And if you sign up for the free 14 day trial, I'll give you a free one on one consulting session. So it's a win win. So if you do get a Shopify store, I'll give you a free consulting session, one on one, 30 minutes to help you set up your Shopify store. So even if you think Amazon's the only way you want to go, you might want to consider Shopify as well. And even if you're going to be initially mostly selling on Amazon, you need to set up your Shopify store now because there's some SEO benefits. There's a lot of benefits in having your store sitting there for a long time. So make sure you click the link down there or up here, sign up for Shopify, get your free one-on-one -on -one consulting session with me to help you set it up. Top of that, if you enjoyed this video, please click that subscribe button down below. I have a ton of more e-commerce videos coming out and you'll get them for free delivered to your YouTube channel if you click that subscribe button. Top of that, I have the free e-commerce online store success pack which has checklists for starting your store. It has tons of marketing ideas. I'm gonna put a free book in there. It also has a Facebook group. You can join a free Facebook group when you sign up here um, that has all the different, basically it has a bunch of different people in it like me that will help you start your store. You can get all that information for free, clicking up there. Last but not least, if you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video, leave it in the comments down below. I'm here to answer your questions guys and like, I really enjoy waking up and answering these questions. So please leave any e-commerce related questions down below. And thank you for watching this video.